Hello dear crypto friends and welcome to this quite brutal day in the crypto market. The thing is happening that we wouldn't have liked to happen. Bitcoin is dropping. All altcoins are of course dropping even more because they exaggerate the movement of Bitcoin. So what the hell is happening? Is Bitcoin going to do something like in May to July 2021 and we get some scenario like this here? Or is Bitcoin really going to go even lower and revisit the super support, the weekly moving average 290 that was hit in the COVID low? What will Bitcoin do? Well, let us try to find out, I would say. Now, if we look at the daily chart, we are in the daily chart. We can see that the RSI is not really super low. That is not a good sign. This means it could drop even further. The lowest daily RSI that we ever had, if we go zoom out and look at Bitcoin's entire history here, the lowest daily RSI was in November 2018 at 9 and an incredibly low 9.29. And now we are at 35. So daily RSI wise, there's still a lot more room to go lower, unfortunately. If we go into the weekly, the weekly is really interesting because the weekly tells us now if this would continue dropping, the weekly RSI tells us that we are really not far away anymore from the absolute lowest possible low, right? We have the low here in January 2015. The RSI was at about 28. Then in the December, late December 2018 low, the RSI was at 29. Let's zoom in for better visualization. So if we continue going down with that speed, which it does look like currently, we go down almost vertically. Well, that means, of course, friends, that we will very soon have reached an RSI, which could be even lower than in late 2018 and could be possibly even lower than the one in January 2015, right? If we zoom in here and we try to estimate the velocity, which the inclination looks about as if it was going like this here. So if the inclination continues now, we would be at 28.83 in the next weekly candle. And in the weekly candle after that, we would be at 26. And friends, 26 would be a new historical RSI low. So in the next weekly candle and the weekly candle closes today, in the next weekly candle, we will see historical lows. And in the weekly candle after that, if it still continues to go lower, we will possibly see a new historical low in the Bitcoin RSI. And the Bitcoin RSI has been historically one of the best tools ever, one of the best tools in order to find perfect buying opportunities. If we look at the long term chart, every time the RSI was insanely low, this would have marked the perfect entry point. Now, can we estimate if it will indeed go lower or not? Of course, that is the insanely difficult thing here. We're not getting any clear reversal signals yet. We're not having any bullish divergences anymore. It's not really looking as if it was going to stop. And the best thing that could happen, the best thing that could happen is that we get some situation like from May to July 2021. In that case, we would make a slight lower low. We would just go a bit below the 25,400 area. We could go maybe to 25 or 24,000, then wobble around and then continue upwards again. But if this whole pressure continues, if the dollar index continues pumping and we have seen the dollar index last time, it looks kind of bullish. So if the dollar index continues to, to pump through the 0.786 Fibonacci retracement level and just continues going higher, well then friends, then it's not looking good. Then Bitcoin will of course go lower and all coins accordingly. And what is worrying me is the two year yields. Honestly, friends, this is not looking too nice. The yields have been descending since the 80s and we have this resistance line here and now it looks as if it's breaking through this resistance line with a pretty brutal strength as we can see. 
And if this would just continue now, well then it's not looking too good friends. If the yields continue going up and the picture is similar with the five year yields, let's load the five year yields. We can see that here we have a similar situation, the five year yields, they have also broken through this insane long term support, which is really not a good sign we would have liked the yields to roll back over. And here I was getting optimistic because it did start as if they were getting rejected. If they would have started to roll over, then of course the stock market would have rebounded and would have rallied. That would have been my scenario where we get a stock market rally that nobody is expecting. But now that the yields are continuing to pump and they break through this insanely important long term resistance here, um, that is not good consequently for the stock market. If we look at, for example, the Nasdaq, it's dropping like a stone again because the yields are pumping. The dollar index is also pumping consequently. So the stock market is dropping like a stone. And since we know that the Bitcoin is super, super correlated at the moment with the stock market. Well, friends, what does that mean? That means that Bitcoin is just continuing to drop. Now, if the worst case scenario happens, and again, friends, it's almost impossible to foresee such bottoms here because catching the falling knife is always quite difficult. If we would continue to make another leg down, so basically we are here and repeating something like this here. Well, the next area of support would be, of course, the weekly moving average of 200 weeks, right? So we would maybe make a small pause at the weekly moving average 200. But I think in that case, if the stock market really goes lower, and if the two year yields and the dollar index continue pumping, I think the MA 200 will not hold and we will get a situation like in March 2020 when we went really below the moving average 200 and stayed below the weekly moving average for two entire weekly candle closes, which was really insane, really insane. So this could happen again. So the weekly moving average of 290 weeks offered solid support in March 2020. And we can assume that it will offer extremely good support again. So the weekly RSI is a super good tool to monitor the current situation. And the best we can hope for now is really a, a situation as here. And that at some point we will just bounce around and then continue going higher. This is at this point, unfortunately, the best we can hope for. And of course, if we look at the total market cap of all altcoins, it is also going down a lot, right? And the weekly moving average 290, it seems, was also the support for alts. So we can assume that the altcoin market could still drop further and could do something similar to the March 2020 low, where it drops even below here and then closes at the moving average of 290 weeks. So the altcoins could unfortunately also go down even more, as sorry as I am to say this. So we should just keep an eye on the long term trend channel on this super strong support here, the weekly moving average 290. And I will buy with both hands if we really go down to this low level. We don't know if it will. So it's always best to buy in small increments. Always just buy a bit here and then on the way down. And if we really go to such levels, these are historic low levels that we have reached only a few times in Bitcoin's entire history, only a few times. That is absolutely crazy. We are talking about lows that have only been reached a few times in Bitcoin's entire history. And these were always the absolute market bottoms. Could we go even lower? Is it possible that this model now is false and we are actually going even lower that we would be going, I don't know, to 10,000 or 5,000 like this. I mean, this would break the model. This would break the long term logarithmic model, to be honest. And I don't think this model will be broken. It is a very solid model. It has held since 12 years now. So I think the probability that this model will be broken is extremely low. Therefore, I personally will treat this lower green support line here as absolute support. And if we really should go so low, 
I will just buy like a crazy cycle. Unfortunately, that is all we can do right now. There is nobody that can tell you if this is the bottom or not. All the indicators are already insanely oversold as we have seen, but the daily RSI could still go lower. And we have seen that the weekly RSI also says that we could still drop for one or even two more weeks. And then in the weekly candle after the next one, there would be new historically low values of the RSI. And I think that is the time when really we can say that we very likely have the bottom. We can also look at the monthly chart and then the monthly RSI also tells us at the close of this month, we will really have seen new historical lows also in the monthly RSI. We will be at probably even a bit below the last ones from January 2019 and January 15. We could possibly close even a bit below. So that is absolutely insane what is happening, friends. But don't despair because every bear market, every bottom for Bitcoin has an end and we will see again a hype phase. And when can it come? Well, it could come a lot sooner than many think. Or worst case, it could stretch out a bit. It could stretch out a bit. And then we get the next run in the cycle 2024 when Bitcoin has the next halving. So the best one can do is just buy in small increments on the way down. And then when the opposite happens and we get into the next bull cycle, of course, we should do the opposite and sell in small increments. That is today's short update, friends. Nothing really new. I will make daily updates, of course, and we will analyze the situation together and try to understand if we are getting near the low of this market. Have a nice day, friends, and see you in the next video tomorrow. Bye.